the most important advice for how to listen, I think is really in two parts. First, if you think of an idea, then really think it through and try to think what would be the things that make it fail and have that in your mind. Don't be afraid to challenge your own ideas. And the second is ask people and listen to them express ideas. Some of you might think this is quite silly and I've already thought about it. But what you find is if you know your ideas well and have thought through them, and then you get a chance for people to raise concerns about it, and then you're much more able to engage on their terms. So, you know, our government officials basically said, oh, look, you're asking, doc you're asking field staff to go to homes, and that's something that only doctors can do. So how did we uh, show them that wasn't the case? Well, we sent them and they showed themselves that uh, they got pretty good data from the households. And then we did an experiment, actually. We sent to some homes field staff, non-medical field staff. And then four weeks later, we sent doctors to those same homes to collect the same information, but anonymously. They didn't know the details. And then we drew a simple graph thinking, what did the field staff get and what did the doctors get? And you saw a very nice correlation, meaning a respectful listening by the field staff of the home about a very important event, the death of a family, was equally good between a doctor and a non-medical field staff. So this convinced everyone, saying it actually works. And importantly, the non-medical field staff felt really good, thinking, you know, we're doing as good work as doctors. So this was all part of the listening and problem solving approaches. We didn't impose on them saying, ah, don't worry, you'll do as well, because they wouldn't have believed it. So I think you want to listen to people and solve their problems and demonstrate their concerns are being met. Mm -hmm.